to see you again. Hey, lots of fantastic stuff coming up today, and it looks something like that. There's a crazy way to colour in using words. Check out this art attack by Jonathan. He's written the word fire using fiery shapes and coloured it in with fiery colours. It reminds me of the type of writing you see in comic books. Nice idea. Yeah, fantastic comic style lettering there from Jonathan. Do you know what? It's amazing how many artistic things you can do with words. How about colouring in with words? Take a look at this. Just lightly sketch a drawing of whatever you like in pencil. I've done a skier. Then, using felt tip pens, start to colour in sections of your drawing, but instead of colouring in in blocks of colour, colour in with words. Just pick a word that's got something to do with what you're drawing. So for this section, I'm going to keep writing ice cold, and just keep going over and over again until you've filled up the whole section. For the sleeve, I'm going to write stripes. In it goes, stripes, stripes, stripes. Then, change colour and change your word. How about purple for the trousers? And this time I'm going to write whoosh as he speeds along on his skis. And go right down his legs like that. Or how about a blue pen for the skis? Just make the words a little smaller if you need to fit them in. So nice big words there on the skis. And when you get to the tips, write the words smaller. And again, I'm going to change colour and change words. So how about snow along the clouds of snow? And again, just follow the pencil guidelines. And how about some orange for the ski gloves? And again, I'm going to pick the right word, ski gloves. <laughs> and I think I'll use the orange for the helmet too. And guess what I'm going to write? Yeah, you got it. Helmet. <laughs> fit another one in there I think and go over the whole of your picture in this way and when you finish colouring in with your words leave them to dry and you can rub out those pencil guidelines and it'll look something like this look at that really good isn't it you've got all these different textures from all the different words and you can try this colouring technique on all sorts of pictures how about this parrot and the words say parrot eyes parrot beak parrot feathers or this panda and this is white pencil on black paper. And just the outline of this picture has been picked out with words about tigers. And look at this one. <laughs> That's a Neil Buchanan, really. And it says, Neil Buchanan, Neil Buchanan, Neil Buchanan. And I'll see you next time. Ta-da!